Hello guys, welcome back. This is our lecture 9. Here we are in our Kali Linux machine and it is time we finally learn how to use that mysterious tool that it said to be the most important tool that we must master. Don't worry. Terminal is not difficult to use but before we get to open it and run bunch of the commands. Let us first define what is terminal is. So what is it? Terminal is a program that allows us to interact with Linux operating system using different commands. We can create files and delete files, create directories and run programs at different tasks to execute. And we can do many more things using it. It is important you get used to it, especially if you never used it before because if you are coming from Windows or Mac OS, you probably are used to open files or folders by clicking on different icons and navigating like that. For example, on Windows, we usually open files by double clicking on an icon and it will open that folder. And on Kali Linux, we can actually do the same thing. See, if I go right here and for example, I want to open this home folder. I will double click on that folder and it will open folder with all the files inside of it. But we didn't want to be doing it like that. Let us see how we can do it using terminal. So let us close this first and we already know how to open terminal right click on desktop and click open terminal here. First thing that we notice is username that we have right here and the host name that we have right here. But we also notice this slash desktop. This means that our terminal process has opened inside of the desktop directory. Does it always open there? No. It only open there because we told it to open there. Remember, we right click on desktop and click it open terminal here. If we, for example, went to the home folder and right click it here, open terminal. Hmm. It doesn't say slash home like it that in desktop. It just gives is this where we minus sign? Well, that sign in Linux means that you are in your home directory of your user and our user is called Miss Hacker. So the directory name should be slash home slash Miss Hacker. And to check the directory name, we can type the command pwd. If we press enter, it will give us the current directory in which our terminal process is running. And it is slash home slash miss hacker. And this pwd stands for print working directory. If we, for example, go to the folder once again, which is slash home folder slash miss hacker. And we double click on documents, write open terminal here. So open terminal here. This will open a second terminal and you will see right here that says slash documents but do you always need to go that folder and open terminal inside to that folder for is to be inside of this directory of course not you can use a command called cd and you should be familiar with this command since we already used it before let us test it out Let's go to documents directory from our home directory. So I will just close the second terminal and right here we are inside our home directory or slash home slash miss hacker. We know that inside of this directory there is a document directory. Since you managed to open it right here and to navigate this directory using terminal. We can use the command cd and then the name of the directory which is documents. We press enter and here it is we are in slash documents directory. If we type pwd here it will tell us the current working directory is slash home slash miss hacker slash documents and for example if you wanted to go one step or one directory back we can type the command cd and then two dots. What this command will do? is it will go one directory back and if I type pwd once again we will now be again in home slash home is hacker directory so 
these two dots tell to terminal to go one directory back okay great but how can we know which subdirectories in files are in home directory for example we know there was a documents directory in home folder because we opened it right here we didn't open it over terminal we opened it right here from our desktop once we open it again we can see all the folders and files inside of this slash home slash miss hacker directory but we didn't see these files inside of our terminal so how can we list them how can we see all of these files using terminal so we know which directories are available inside of this slash home slash miss hacker directory to check files and folders in any directory we can use another familiar command which is ls and ls command stands for list so it just test it out if we type it press enter here we are we can see same folders and same files that we can see inside of this window right here so what we did for now is we use a terminal instead of clicking on bunch of files bunch of icons we now are doing all of that with our terminal now that we know which folders are in this directory we can choose which folder we want to go to and use cd command to go there but let us go one directory back from the slash home slash miss hacker to do that we already know we can type cd and then two dots and by the way cd stands for changing directory don't know if i mentioned that cd is changing directory and now we can see that once we went one directory back we are in slash home directory if we type ls here we can see here is our miss hacker directory that is containing these files right here since we went one step back we can only see miss hacker directory see this is the only folder inside this slash home directory let's go one more step back if i type cd two dots once again now i am in slash directory and it is called slash directory because it is only specified as a forward slash and we can go more than that this is the main directory that has all of the other files and directories in the system if we try to type cd once again you will see it will still be slash directory and remember when i told you during kali linux installation that we will see slash home slash tmp slash all directories that occurred in one of these installation questions well if i type ls right here here they are these are all just standard linux directories and here is slash home from and here is tmp and bunch of the directories and these are all just standard linux directories from here you will notice that not all of it is same color this is because not all of the stuff we see here is the same thing something is the directory something is the file and for example so if i try it for example cd and i choose these files so cd in it or the dot img and press enter this will not work it will give us an error saying not the directory but if i type cd and then see for example which is this directory and press enter now i will be in some etc directory and here i can type ls to list all of the files inside the etc directory and you will also notice that here we got a mixture of files and directories as well directories are these dark blue names well files can be other colors depending on file type usually they are white okay great we will learn the basics of navigating through linux system in directories using different commands now before we finish at this video here is the practice test try returning to desktop 
directory from this etc directory using only the commands that we learn i will give you right now a few seconds and i will show you now to do it so try it out okay don't worry if you didn't get it so here it is how we can do it from the etc directory we know that we must go back to the slash directory and in this slash directory we got our home directory we can check it out by typing ls and inside of this home directory we know that we got the miss hacker directory and miss hacker directory has the desktop directory so to navigate there we can cd home type ls here then type cd miss hacker type ls here once again check out all of the available directories and cd desktop and now we are on our desktop directory once again wait so practice a little bit with these commands this is not really too hard just take some practice and you will get used to it very soon and in the next video we are going to see how we can create files and folders using terminal as well as we are going to see how we can run programs see you there